that was a really productive session that we did. We got the whole starboard side the fittings out. Um, this is the main fitting. We kind of fought a little bit, but it came out without damage. This is the engine strainer and the main shutoff for the engine area um, and the strainer itself. I was very concerned about getting this off without damage and um, it came off just beautifully. So now I can go through and clean these up and uh, polish them up and uh, make sure everything's functioning and working nicely. The bolts that were holding inside of it here <laughs> just literally rusted off and I'll make up some new backing plates to go underneath it. Um, it's going to look great when I get done. Um, engine I'm going to uh, sandblast. Pretty much I'm going to unbolt it from the engine mounts, uh, lift it up, <clears throat> get it sandblasted and repainted. I've got some uh, paint for it. So this right now is just going to make us uh, the ability to make the boat watertight by getting some new fittings on board and getting these all new resealed. So let's go take a look at the boat real quick. Well, we still need to pull off the uh, exhaust and this uh, engine intake or this water. You see where this goes? This is some kind of drain, maybe for the lockers inside. But we got underneath here, and that was the engine strainer. That was a booger. We wanted to make sure we got that off in one piece, and we sure did. That's the bilge pump exit. And, uh,. This is a deck drain. Uh, this is where the head comes out. And right here is where the head comes in. And we got that off. And we got off the anchor locker. So the entire starboard side, we've got those removed. Uh, Lorene's making a map of all the uh, places where these are. We've got them numbered for me so I can know exactly where they came off. And um, we're gonna, I'm gonna crawl back inside and get going on the other side. All right, now we're gonna go and take these babies out. Thank you. 